do we'll do let's do Tarigo. Let's do some Luca Tarigo. Luca Tarigo. Excuse me. Luca Tarigo. Mm. 65,000 doubloons, Painzor? That's insane. That's right. Hang on. I was going to turn my lights down a minute ago when I had to get that shot in. Uh, it's this one. No, it's not that. It's this one. Right? Yeah. Come on. Okay, that's correct. I was going to do a little bit of that. There we go. If I turn it down just a couple of points. That helps some. Okay, hot spot. Bottom tier. Middle tier. With planes. Feels bad. Lots of destroyers to shoot at. Well, at least three. Lots of battleships to harass. Okay. Standard battle. That's good. That means if I can stay alive, I could potentially have a good game. I'm not... I'm, I'm kind of glad it's a Saipan. I'm not glad it's a Saipan. Saipan is easy to snipe if you're the Lexington, but I can, you can never rely on your carrier to know that. And then the other problem is, is that... Well, for me, the good thing is that Saipan is... I will say he's completely toothless against me. He's largely toothless against me. The HE bombs will hurt if you can get him to land. That's correct, Chaser. Atlanta has a better reload than the Pan Asian version. That is correct. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning. Now that's intentional. Oh my god, Duke, shut up. As near as as near as I can figure, Chaser, the reason for that, the Pan Asian. Okay, the Pan-Asian ship gets smoke, right? It's what, Chumpon or whatever? The Pan-Asian cruiser gets smoke. Atlanta does not. So Atlanta, as compensation, gets better reload speeds because she's more vulnerable. Um, you find, you know, Wargaming, like, I think the very first, was it the very first smoke cruiser? The very first smoke cruiser they ever put out was Kutuzov, all those years ago, right? And battleship players hated that ship. Hated that ship. You could probably still... Well, you can't know. They wiped the forums. But, like, you could go back to the forums and just find pages and pages and pages of Kudazov hate, right? It was crazy. Um, because the Battleship players are like, Oh, we can't see it. We can't shoot at it. Well, yeah, you can. You You're just got to take blind shots into the smoke. Sam guy with the resub. Thank you much. And so, you know, like, you can. You just don't want to. You crazy son of a bitch. You did. Castle with the resub. Thank you kindly. All right, do I want to back up this Udachi? He actually has about the same detection that I... Oh, his is a little better. A little better than mine? I really don't want to go into these islands, though. That's not where I'm going to be useful, I don't feel like. I'm going to go play mid. I'm going to go play mid with the sub. Welcome. I also feel like luck. the Italians... What's my depth charge damage? It's decent, right? Eh, it's okay. Who was that? Old man. Thank you for the follow. Um, they, yep, there's the U-190. Okay, most submarine players go right for the middle of the board. The Italian, the Italian destroyers with their, with the crawling smoke have a bit of a perk, and then that hunting a submarine with one of these early, you might not get focused quite so heavily. Uh, you might not get focused quite so heavily. Um, however, their depth charges are not as good as the Brits and the Japanese and the Americans. So that feels a little bad. Right now, I want to get away from these bombs. I don't want the carrier to know where I am just yet. That U-190, I'm betting, stayed to the other side of the island. He will be submerged. Gucci, Gucci. Hmm. Y'all should shoot that Say guy. Say hello to my little friend. Y'all should shoot him harder than that. I agree, Formula. You have to remember that the same patch they nerfed Mogami into the ground is the same patch they buffed Kutuzov and turned her into a god, right? It, at the time. She's still really good, but like at the time she was obscene. All right, I'm lit, which means he's out here. Yep, there he is. All right, let's speed up a bit. Because he's going to try and go deep, I'm betting. Hmm. Can't leave my ride behind. It's 
Six, seven, eight, and a flood. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah! Mmm, <laughs> feels like Christmas. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. <laughs> <laughs> I love submarines. Please keep them in the game. Got he. No, that's a lie. Please get rid of them. They're garbage. <laughs> but that was fun. <laughs> All right. Let's push up and try and torpedo this Rado. <laughs> thanks, Mike. You're so helpful. Thanks for being there for my... Thanks for being there like a friend. <laughs> All right, let's see. Rado is slow. I'm betting he'll turn out just a hair. Let's see if I led those correctly or not. Now, let's get back to the SAP. So, Bert, I've, I don't know about anybody else. I've noticed that after the last patch where they buffed the explosion radius on depth charges... They are much more reliable. Now, you're not getting full damage, of course, because of the blast radius. The blast radius will, you know, there's a there's a radius out to which you're getting partial damage, not like heavy damage, right? But I've noticed that it is better. At least it feels better anyway. Nox, which destroyer were you playing? And which sub were you bombing? This makes a difference. I'm not saying it's 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 a correct balance because I don't believe that it is, but it does make a difference. Those torpedoes might actually... Oh, hang on. Get that off my screen. What is this? Those torpedoes might actually hit. Ooh. Nope. The Colorado's going to outrun my torpedoes, I think. Maybe. I might land a couple. One on the butt. One on the butt. Two on the belt. One on the butt. One on the belt. He took a flood. Okay. Uh... Agreed. Ranger, I bet it was. Holland. Okay. So, okay. So, Knox, here's what I discovered recently that has honestly infuriated me. And I've said something in the CC Discord about it. And they're like, oh, well, you know, certain ships are going to have different things. I'm like, that's not a good answer for this. Um, the short answer is that uh, not long ago, they went through about, what, four or five months ago? They went through and they buffed the, dam the depth charge damage of, like, everything, right? Um, except, except they did not buff the depth charge damage of European and Pan-Asian destroyers. They were left behind. And so they are, they now have the weakest depth charges in the game. I'm not, I have no idea why this is okay, but apparently this is okay. So there you go. Yeah, Nevermore, that's one of the frustrations that I have with it, right? Is that most of the high tier, um, the high tier European destroyers are supposed to be like sub hunters and their depth charges are Legarbo, right? And that really irks me off a lot. This Saipan is sitting up here behind this island. Doesn't look like he's moved at all. He's going to fly right over me, but that's fine. He has basically zero chance of striking me as long as I keep my AA turned off. Because he has, no, he'll never be able to get, he'll never be able to get this to, to pull. He'll never be able to pull this off. No, I'm not worried about you. However, you do, you are moving now, so that's something, I suppose. Bye. You missed. <laughs> nope, you missed again. If my submarine will sink this Alba, we actually have a legit shot of capping these guys out, which would be absolutely freaking hilarious. All right, the bombs are a threat. These I have to respect.
Time to put on the beer goggles. I wish the sub would spot for me. There we go. I got four seconds of smoke. When the smoke ends, I'm in trouble. Another day, another Time to go be somewhere else. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Can I beat an Alba in a gunfight, ladies and gentlemen? You think I can? I think it's possible. Let's find out. Ooh, that hurt. Don't do that. Don't bomb me. Don't morning. bomb me, bro. Fine. Uh, I'll swap to the HE. Much better. Yeah, that hurt. And My turn now. That one in the morning. All right, that feels good. Like a shit cookie. Do 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 do. Uh, much better. Now my torps are down, unfortunately. That feels bad. Won't be I won't be able to shoot this Byron, which again, like I said, feels kind of crappy. I don't want to get shot by the Byron, so Time we are going to smoke for a bit. Goggles. I want to stay in the cap. I want to keep the pressure on. Yep. I knew the Byron would shoot at me if the plane spotted me. That's what I was specifically trying to avoid. Let's come back to port and get set up for a torp run on this guy. He has way too much health for me to charge him. So what we're going to do is we're going to back off. Nope, you missed. Let's try again. Day, another disembowelment. Yeah, he's going to have to react to the sub torpedoes. That's not bad, Chaser. No, I doubt it, Aldro. Why would you why would you nerf destroyer SAP? Like it's not that strong. It's okay. It's amazingly strong though. I mean, it's really strong against other destroyers, but that's what it's designed to be strong against. So, are you surprised? All right, he's about to have me on the surface, which I must admit I do not care for. Let's go be somewhere else. Hmm. Can't let him deal. Right Let's by. go be somewhere else and let him deal with the submarine. Have fun with the sub, son. That is not my problem. In fact, you between you, me, the sub, and the Massachusetts, you ought to be in a world of pain. Yeah, you're busy shooting at the submarine. Have fun with that. Oh, and it got such good gas mileage. Come on, Massa. Get up here and murder him. We teed him up for you. It's time, buddy. There we go. That's the salvo I was looking for. Be able to get him with this salvo if I'm lucky. No, Mass is gonna get him. That's fine. That's fine. We got the kill. It's all I care about. All right. Um, we might still be able to go hunt down this Saipan. Um, we have nobody defending our cat, but they're gonna have bigger problems. I'm gonna be up under the A umbrella of this Massachusetts, so that's gonna feel awesome.
<laughs> Surkov. Hang on a minute. That's good stuff. How would you even do that, right? I mean, the deck gun on a submarine is like AI fired. It's like automatic, right? Like, how would you do that? I saw Pan's going to be lucky if the Massachusetts doesn't crush him in two salvos. Might only, only it might only take one salvo. It's just a Baltimore with a flight deck on it. Whoa, he got lucky there. Most of those seem to have missed. All right, in a minute, I'm going to have... The Saipan is trying to get back behind this island. He's going to discover that's going to be bad for him. Um, presuming, actually, he should survive to make that play. Which means, guys, I think I'm going to get to kill me a Tier 8 carrier. Let's see if this Massa can get him. Nope, Massa didn't get him. And that means it's going to be my turn soon, kids. Let's go, Speed Boost. Spood Beast. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. We have a destroyer to kill. I mean, a destroyer. A carrier to kill. Excellent, Smithers. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to kill a Tier 8 submarine and a Tier 8 carrier in a Tier 7 destroyer. That felt kind of good. <laughs> you know, I remember the first time they announced the Italian destroyers. Everybody thought, are you serious with these things? And yet, the more I play these ships the more fun they are. These are actually really good boats. Um, and they're very different from most other destroyers with their the SAP and the short gun range and the little mix of tools they have. They are super fun. I cannot recommend this line enough, but I'll tell you, I'll tell the same thing that I said on my, own, on my YouTube channel. This is not a line of destroyers for new destroyer players, right? If you're a destroyer, if you're at least experienced with the class, you probably have enough knowledge to make these ships work. If you're brand new to the game, you do not want to be playing Italian Destroyers. You have other skills you need to learn before you pick up these ships, but they are stupidly fun. Yeah, Chaser, Aviary was good. Um, I enjoyed Mistrale. Luca Trigo is arguably one of my favorite ships right now. She's so much fun at Tier 7.